Hi again, I'm Glenn Williams, London FND engineer, back with another short D&I presentation. This time I'm asking the question, what is the problem with banter at work? So, what is the problem with banter at work? Well, for most people, nothing. The Oxford English Dictionary defines banter as the act of exchanging remarks in a playful, good-humoured, teasing way. In a poll where more than one selection was allowed, 90% of respondents agreed with the dictionary definition that banter was just playful, good-humoured teasing. However, one in 10 people, 10%, thought that banter was intentionally hurtful, while two in 10, 21%, believed that banter was often used to cover up inappropriate behavior. So this means that some people felt left out of the joke, while others may well have felt that they were the butt of it. The problem you see with banter is, well, there's a fine line between humour and being offensive. Humour is so subjective. Put simply, we don't all find the same things funny. Comedy is a group activity, but it relies on the individuals in that group feeling that they are part of the group, included. Ill-advised humour or offensive banter could be viewed as discrimination, which would then infringe company regulations and even discrimination law. The Equality Act of 2010 forces organisations like ours to tackle nine key forms of discrimination or protected characteristics, those being race and ethnicity, disability, religion or belief, age, sexual orientation, gender gender reassignment, pregnancy and maternity, and marriage and civil partnership status. That's why the organisation has set boundaries about what is acceptable behaviour and what is not. So, what do we do about banter at work? Well, we all want to come to work and feel comfortable and safe in our place of work. Good-natured, inclusive banter can have positive effects, but banter that oversteps the mark and becomes offensive or excluding has negative effects. Basically, banter at work is a very difficult balancing act. So, do we ban all jokes and laughter at work? Of course not. Do we tell the 10% of people who don't find a banter funny to get a thicker skin? Of course not. We don't do either. Having a laugh at work is important to creating an enjoyable work atmosphere because, well, it improves team morale and it has positive effects on productivity and it improves attendance and retention. But it should not be done at the expense of other people. We've got to be careful with our language and mindful of the fact that an ill-advised joke or banter can be hurtful to the person that it's aimed at. We simply have to come to an agreement about what is acceptable language for everybody. We need to become inclusive. I say simply, agreement is a simple concept, but agreements often take time to negotiate, so there's bound to be some disagreement over where that fine line is going to be drawn. And that's where we have to work together, try and be inclusive, talk to each other, try to understand each other, and find out what makes each of us happy or unhappy. So, when we do tell jokes and have a bit of banter, it isn't at the expense of other people's feelings. So, let's carry on with the banter, but let's be inclusive and let's accept that we don't all find the same things funny and that some people may get offended without us realising it. Let's make sure that everybody is in on the joke and let's remember that the organisation has certain rules about what's acceptable and unacceptable language and it doesn't want its reputation tarnished. It's also worth mentioning that discriminatory behaviour may lead to disciplinary action or employment tribunal. So nobody's talking about banning banter or not having a laugh at work. But what we are saying is just be careful who you might be offending. And don't worry, we won't run out of jokes. We'll just come up with better ones. Oh, and here's a simple rule of thumb that I use, and it's up to you if you want to use it as well. If there is something that I feel that I couldn't say to a sensitive member of my family, or a new boss, or a complete stranger, then it's probably better not to say it at all. So, 
Let's all come to work and enjoy being ourselves and being within the Open Reach family. And I know it's a radical idea, but let's just be kind.